carving of a snake in a type of wood. Does anybody know what this red wood is? Manzanita. Thank you. Did you read the same book I read? Did you went to my talk in the morning? I would say the same thing. I remember you. Yeah, so Manzanita is a tree that is from higher elevation. It's a very pretty tree. And the wood is red. So you can make really pretty carvings like this snake that I got for Christmas. Um, I take it all over. Grab it from the neck, right there. Yes, good. Excellent. I'm gonna need another volunteer. Can somebody help me get something out of here? Somebody. Why, why do everybody send the kids? Come on, adult, okay, bring an adult, okay. So I have two volunteers that are gonna take something out of this special basket. Are you ready? There's not, nothing is scary, nothing's gonna happen. I'm serious, I'm a serious person. Choose something. What? Okay, okay. Luna, choose something. So it is very interesting how everybody chose everybody chose a container, something that we, that humans have used to contain seeds, to contain grains, to contain uh, medicinal plants and other things. So for example, what's your name? Bruno. Lucia, thank you very much for helping. Wait, we're gonna show everybody this basket. Can you smell it? What does it smell like? So uh, the next thing I want to show you in terms of the diversity of animals that we have in the 
desert is a little device that we use to see animals that are not uh, very easy to see. So scientists, biologists, I'm a biologist by the way, I didn't tell you. When you grow up, if you're a biologist, you're gonna be like me. Great. So you guys, be a biologist. Look. Hi. Exactly. 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 Somebody says. cameras, wildlife cameras, that are basically uh, a regular digital camera with a sensor. Okay, so when you can open it, you put batteries inside in a memory card, and this is the, this is the sensor, and this is the, the lens of the camera. So you attach this to a tree, you tie it somehow, more or less two feet off the ground, and every time an animal goes by, it takes a photograph or it takes a video. And that way, we can tell what animals are out there when we don't see them. So sometimes, you know, in the wilds of Campbell and Grant, there's a lot of coyotes and javelinas. Well, people have been putting these cameras to see coyotes and javelinas. But uh, we have used these cameras, they come with a flash, and it doesn't bother the animals at night. Um, we have put these cameras throughout the Tucson Mountains and south <coughs> to learn what animals we live there. And I want to see what it is. Yeah, thank you. So I'm going to show you some of the videos that we have taken with these cameras. You're going to see a lot of different animals that live in our region. And when you see them, see if you can tell me what their name is. See if you know who they are. Not this one. All right. What do you see? Yes, it's a two-legged animal. So that animal is the biologist walking in front of the cameras to make sure that they work. Okay, what do we see here? Let's see. Ah. What was that? It was a cocker spaniel. It was the biologist's dog that used to help us Make sure that we put the camera at the right angle because you have to locate these cameras right. So we have a very well trained dog. I'm going to do this. Can we see another one, please? What's that? Oh, did you see two legs over here? Ooh, that's going to be a little. It's going to be too dark. Okay, so what we have here is a bobcat. A bobcat that is rolling right in front of the camera. I'll show you another one. Give me another one. Thank you. Do you see that one? And look, it's standing there and it's moving its tail. Do you see it? Let's see it again. It's going to come there. So that bobcat was right in front of the camera, but it stopped. It's possibly hunting right there, Poss possibly stalking. You know how cats start moving their tail when, when they're hunting? So that's possibly what's going on in that one. Let's see another one. <coughs> This camera picked up something really big. So in some places we also get to see with these cameras if there's cattle in places that they shouldn't be. If they're getting too close to the water and maybe pooping in areas that they shouldn't. So we can go tell people you need to move your cows or something like that. So these cameras help us for those things too. And uh, it's real, I'm not leaving that. Yes, Let's do a different animal. Thank you. Yeah, that was different. Let's see another one. Okay, let's see what we see here. This is a river in Sonora, uh, south of the Patagonia Mountains. It's a river called Cocospera River. And, and there's an animal there that has a long tail. Goari, yeah, you did make the same group. Can we see another one? Oh, there it goes. What is that? Do you see it moving at the top? Yeah. It's a lion. 
So I'm going to let you watch the movie. Thanks everyone again for coming. Thanks for la to Las Vincitas for hosting. And thanks to Elena for the last instructions you're going to give us. Thank you very much. Woo!